where people say, uh -huh. well, there's not that many women comedians, or uh, I found in America the, the ones who break through seem to be uh, very pretty women who make dirty jokes, like Amy Schumer, Sarah Silverman, Whitney Cummings. It seems that that breaks women comedians through as if they deal with sexual material. Y you and the ladies you just mentioned, Izzy Suddy and Bridget Christie, go the completely, you don't do material well, that I is about sex unnecessarily. I suppose what we should talk about, as opposed to women in comedy, sure. we should talk about sexism in comedy. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's not our fault. <laughs> it's nothing to do with us. Okay. It's one of those things where, <laughs> no, but seriously, like, okay. I started this when I was 17, and literally on a near daily basis since then, I've had people sort of asking me about women in comedy and stuff like that. And, right. and actually, it's a very tricky thing because, sure, I want to talk about sexism, but in doing so, it brings it into my life and it brings us daily and it's wearing. Oh, it drops okay. away yeah. your confidence and stuff like that. But also, now, I just think there's always like in the in the states and also i suppose in the states you've also got someone like amy polar mm. who's incredible and does things that are joyful and mm -hmm. innocent and kind and right. warm and she's like not a stand up though that she's is a true sketch comedian yeah yeah that she's is true. writes pieces yeah i'm thinking of stand up comedians it seems that when women talk dirty then people go hey she's really really funny men will embrace a female comedian i'm just saying americans i don't but know but then i suppose Roseanne Barr wasn't really talking dirty that's interesting okay yeah uh, i mean john rivers would you know she yeah. wouldn't talk about sex but she would you know do insults and stuff like that but now it's sexual material mm. that seems to put someone over the edge where you have someone who's attractive talking about sexual material and then like Amy Schumer she's playing the Apollo and she's got an HBO show coming up in a week. But I'd kind of say that that's it's probably it's just what sexism is doing mm. like those women are brilliant and there's loads of other women that are brilliant they do all kinds of other things right how interesting that who yeah, the yeah, powers yeah. that be let that yeah, yeah, do that, that gets on HBO but yeah. when it comes down to it there's no death of women right. talking about other yeah, things. Yeah, There's yeah. no dearth of talent. Have you seen Maria Bamford? She did oh, I fucking love her. She's incredible. Yeah. She does She's amazing one of my stuff favorites. about her own neuroses. That it's, oh, There's her. no sex talk with her. So it's interesting that but she doesn't crack through. Mm. She's not going to get an Apollo <laughs> gig because I think but she doesn't. we don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I would I suppose, like her to, I'm saying. But, you know. I suppose the people to yeah. ask are not female comedians because all of okay. us have no idea <laughs> why some of us will make it and some of us will not. Good. And all of us, like I know so many incredibly talented female comedians uh, who haven't got what they deserve right. is nothing to do with us. It's right, not right, our right, fault. Right, right. We're all audience. so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <that's laughs> but I'm serious. Like, and yeah. it's not even the audience. It's okay. the powers that be that commission. Okay. And it's the decisions that are made. Interesting. Because audience is like what is given to them. Right, and right. audience is like, you know, a very gentle, soft-spoken woman showcasing children's toys amusingly <laughs> as much as they like. Not right. that there's anything wrong with being brushed right. or sexual either. Like, I think it's so interesting that you know, scrutiny is put on what the women are talking about in mm. some ways, because okay. I, I very much assume that that isn't only what those people talk right, about, right. really, you right. know? And as well as that, like, it's never done to their male counterparts. It's never mm. like, well, let's look at which male comedians are there, because mm. there's this othering to women that goes right. on, you know, sexism, blah, blah, blah. And so we are othered, and so we're like, treated like a genre, right. when actually, like, it's not, our, there's loads of us, it's not our <laughs> fault, you know? It's okay. nothing to do with us. Wow. It's to do with people making decisions because they are part of a tradition that was ruled by right. men. <laughs> you, right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And it's the same everywhere. It's like, you know, why are there no female CEOs in the paper industry? <laughs> because of sexism. Why is, why is this a male profession? Because the patriarchy. <laughs> like, wow. It's not us. 